Let's go to uh, Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, Jim, what's going on? Hey, guys. How y'all doing today? Going good. Yourself? Hi, Jim. I'm doing good. Hey, Tommy. Uh, just wanted to check with you on a company called Snap, you know, Snapchat, S-N-A-P. Let's, let's see what y'all. Okay. Let's take a look. We got Snapchat. It's SNAP. The low for the year is nine dollars and sixteen cents. The high is nineteen seventy-five. So let's see. Pull this back for. So you think you're dipping your toe in here? Is that what's going on? Yeah, it's pulled back to uh, kind of a little support area. I don't know if it's going to hold there or not. I'm not in it right now. Just looking, and I think it has potential. No. Yeah, no I, I, <laughs> no, I can see what you're saying. I, I would, you know, what's sitting out here, Jim, is that that looks like, uh, what's that, the middle of September, it looks like October, that $12.71, I mean, that could get hit pretty easy. That's the bottom yeah. of the consolidation. So, you know, it tried to, well, you had a nice week of strength on, uh, in, in June. You came back down, you went above that area with light volume, and then you see how we came back off with big volume. And that big volume you came off with, just so that's an earnings uh, tank in that week. Yeah. So, I mean, I... And just that we're below that level even now, so... Yeah, and I would, I would wait to that bottom of the consolidation. The, I don't think this, this downdraft also is gonna, not going to be a one-day wonder. I mean, I know everyone suspects, not everyone, but <laughs> the dippers expect that that's what's going to happen here, but... You know, when you, when you look at the S&P, this is broken a few times, you know, and the real kicker is going to be like, okay, if, if we take a look, you know, we're, we're talking about, you know, the, the dollar on the way up for a long time, Jim, yeah. how, you, you know, this, this broke a major trend line with conviction, you know, I can make the case that the SPY wants to go to 284, and we're at 324, so, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm I'm actually pretty much out of everything now. I got out last uh, Thursday and Friday. <laughs> just Good for you. Everything. You better come work for us, man. <laughs> Nothing wrong with keeping <laughs> your awesome. nose dry, man. Totally. <laughs> that yeah. is so cool. Well, now you're going to be itching. You're going to be itching to get back in. So now, you know, now you're just going to find the biggest stocks out there. I think, you know, when you get downdraft like this, folks, this is the time that, you know, you do want to, to me, I know Bowen's been a mess, but this is the time that you want to go after these monsters that are going to be around forever. You know what I mean? That I would agree. If you're a long-term yeah, buyer, man. You know, you know I, and I, the real question is, yeah, okay, you know, Bowen's down 11 bucks out here today. You know, I think we'll go to 292 or 318. But, you know, when you get large downdrafts, that's when I think if you can get these big S&P equities, you know, your, your probability is a lot better that, you know, you're going to get going. You know, the, what we've definitely had is that uh, the growth stocks, you know, are, are like a rocket ship, there's no doubt. But what also ends up happening is that when they go south, you know, it basically does quite a bit of damage True. in general, you know. So, and well, I wouldn't, go out, of, I wouldn't, I'm sorry, speak, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, speaking of the SPY, IVV type S&P 500, uh, where do you think would be a good place to get back into that? You, you're saying that you think this uh, pullback will last two or three days more or so? I don't see it as a one-day wonder. Let's put it that way. Uh, normally, what would end up happening is this, is that, you know, we're down so hard today, yeah, I could see a little bounce. I mean, we'll get a bounce out of here somewhere, but to me that, you know, this is, the trend line's broken. We've already got two warnings, and that's what normally happens at major highs, okay? You got a warning going all the way back in November. We got another one at the beginning of January, you know, and it's like, okay, man, this is it. They've been unloading this thing, you know? And last week, I don't know if you, when I was on the air, uh, I believe it was Tommy and I, or I was on the afternoon, you had that sell down in the ETF. The, it's not the SPY, it's the, other, it's the, someone sold 598 million in one trade. You know, yeah, so, I saw that you sh you showed yeah, that, and uh, yeah, uh, all the other volume just disappeared because that one was so large. <laughs> right, exactly. So that is, you know, they've been, you know, normally when that happens, they've been moving out equities for a while, you know. And if that's the case, what ends up happening is that if funds have already moved it out and they've decided, okay, they'll come back in, but they're not going to come back in just in a small, shallow retracement like this, you know. 
So, and, yeah. you know, we've been talking about these bonds. What does end up happening the other side of that, you know, there's a lot of moving pieces here. You get destruction on the way down, but then, you know, if, in fact, the, the bonds go where I think they're going to go, well, then dividend-paying stocks are going to be worth money, too, you know. In fact, let me just look at it. I want to look at these housing stocks because what we didn't talk about, and that was my point in talking about the interest rates, is that housing will go up dramatically, folks. And what will happen, it will be quick. So that's the, the bullish part of it. The bearish part of it will be that people feel less wealthy because their stock market portfolios got hit, okay? Sure. So yeah. there's going to be the yin and yang that's fighting in there. But, you know, structurally, I suspect, you know, at the very beginning, they'll go up pretty quick. They'll, you know, there'll be a savings, but then it'll get kicked into the equity simultaneously. Because what we also have is that the Fed's been putting money in, but the Fed might have to put a mon monster amount of money in now. And if that's the sure. case, inflation will kick off. Well, well, we'll find out whether it will kick off or not. But uh, I'd sit on that cash for a while, Jim. Okay. Sounds good. Have a I great one, man. you and Tommy a lot. Thank Thanks you. Lot. Thanks, Jim. We, we appreciate your call, man. Yeah, big time. Big nope, time. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye now.